क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी एट फाइंड द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ कॉस हाइपरबोलिक ऑफ एन थीटा सी दिस क्वेश्चन आर अगेन ए सिंपल फॉर्मुला बेस्ड क्वेश्चन इफ यू हैव स्टडीड सिग्नल्स एंड सिस्टम जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म फॉर्मुलाज दिस क्वेश्चन इज नथिंग यू कैन आंसर विद इन टू सेकेंड्स मैक्सीम टू टू फाइव सेकेंड्स मैक्सीम ओके दिस क्वेश्चन अगेन स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड सो वॉट आई सजेस्ट इज ट्राई टू रिमेंबर दिस फोर फॉर्मुलाज इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस फोर फॉर्मुलाज एनी क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन दिस कैटेगरी यू कैन सॉल्व इजीली so let me explain this formulas how to remember so a power n cos n theta first we will see for cos theta then we will go for hyperbolic so a power n cos n theta has it a transform of 1 minus a z inverse cos theta divided by 1 minus 2 a z inverse cos theta plus a square z power minus 2 if you can remember one formula then first and second if you remember third and fourth you will get automatically see try to remember a power n cos n theta as a z transform remember like this only z z inverse in terms of z power minus 1 z power minus 2 it was useful when you find the inverse okay so this is useful way of, it is a good way to remember okay 1 minus a z inverse cos theta divided by 1 minus 2 a z inverse cos theta plus a square z power minus 2 this is the z transform of a power n cos theta then a power n sin theta as a z transform of just remove this 1 minus whatever is left a my a z inverse sin theta denominator doesn't change see some people will will be writing here sin theta it is incorrect okay so some people will try to write sin theta here it is cos theta only okay so first formula is 1 minus a z inverse cos theta divided by 1 minus 2 a z inverse cos theta plus a square z power minus 2 second formula is a z inverse sin theta divided by 1 minus 2 a z inverse cos theta plus a square z power minus 2 if you rem if you can remember 1 and 2 3 and 4 are nothing so a c you can see third one you will say by yourself a power n cos h n theta is nothing but 1 minus a z inverse instead of cos theta you will have cos h theta that's it nothing change 1 minus a z inverse cos h theta divided by 1 minus 2 a z inverse cos h theta plus a square plus a square multiplied with z power minus 2 then a power n sin h theta h n theta as a uh, z transform of a z inverse sin h n theta h theta divided by 1 minus 2 a z inverse cos will be there not sin cos h theta plus a square z power minus 2 same 3 and 4 are replica of 1 and 2 except that cos theta is replaced by cos h theta sin theta is replaced by sin h theta and please remember that the denominators of these are cos theta so only everywhere no sin theta will come and here also cos h theta no cos sin h theta in the denominators but in the question there is no z inverse options are in terms of normal z squared z so in that case what you need to do is see this is a question i think third one is a question which he asked so try to multiply numerator and denominator with z square you will get the answer so what i did is i simply multiply numerator and denominator with z square you can see here so just what you do is multiply this with z square in order to get the answer you also multiply with z square so what you get z square a z cos h theta divided by z square minus 2 a z cos h theta plus a square z square and z power minus 2 will cancel now what you do take z common in the numerator z common if you take z minus a z cos theta divided by z square minus 2 a z cos theta plus a square so you can check the options yeah this cannot be because look at the denominators okay here cot theta is there so no so here numerator has only z, no z into is there so this is not so the right choice you can look over same thing we got z into z minus cos h theta divided by z square minus 2 az cos theta plus a square here a is 1 in the question he simply has cos h theta a power n means a is nothing but 1 1 power n in the question a is nothing but 1 okay so whatever we got in that you put a equal to 1 you'll get option a is the right choice so try to remember this four formulas don't do anything some people will started doing like cos cos h theta is nothing but e power i theta plus e power minus i theta by all those things please avoid okay it takes lot of time to do in the exam so don't do all this just remember this four formulas any question based on this you can solve see sometimes he'll ask question like what is the z transform of 2 power n cos theta cos n theta then you should be able to do easily without directly substituting the formula you will get the answer okay so this is the end of this question if you have any queries post them in the comment box subscribe the channel for getting more updates thank you